he is, the man with a smile. You got a smile. Yeah. Are you ready for this? I was born ready. You're born ready. We're gonna we're gonna do a trial run. This is take one, day right. one. Yeah. And you know why what we're doing? What are we doing? Man, we're we're fixing to educate some young men and women on how to build a uh, an old man. An old and man too, yeah. yeah. We're, we're we're having fun. You know why? Sure. You know why? Because we want to get people excited about something in their lives and another thing too to train them to have something to do with their lives. Okay, well, let me show you why. Okay. See this here? Yeah. I brought this over to my buddy Herschel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was in a turnkey car, ready to go. Yeah. Ready to go. Yep. By qualified. Yeah. My hot rod mechanics. Yeah. I'm out there putting the test ride on it. Yeah. You know what happened? I can tell you. Start making a noise. Yep. And uh, no oil in it. Yeah. Not a good thing. No. All right, so how important is the oil? If it doesn't have oil, it's going to be right here in the box, just like yeah. this. Well, you're going to look at it. We can probably, it didn't have that bad, and it was a yeah. new turnkey car. I had to get it out, so I bought a new one, or put a new one in. Yeah. But we're going to look at this one. Yeah. So in this course that we're putting together, the hot rod course. Yeah. You think we ought to talk about fluids and, and yes, all that? Yes, we will. So in week, weeks one and two, it's kind of the introduction to the course. It's our automotive technology class. This is our student teacher handbook. Welcome to the course. But actually on day nine, what we're going to talk about oh, yeah. is automotive fluids and lubricants. Got activities, oil, engine oils, the types, all kinds of stuff, coolant. This is kind of my teacher manual, manual student manual. And uh, let's see if I can turn a page here that everybody sees. So we're gonna talk about the different types of things, brake fluids, dot three, four, five, choosing the right brake fluid, hands-on, different things. Here's a detailed plan, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, kind of go on down, expected outcomes. Here's some of the methods you could be using. Okay. Okay, this is take one. Hot rod, day one. Yes, sir. So, you know, I used to be on the school board. Uh -oh. And before we started every, I'm going to do this so you don't. Okay? <laughs> okay? So you can't do this part. Okay. Before we started any meeting, Lord, we acknowledge our dependence on you and only you. You are welcome in this place. I used yeah. to say, yeah. you know, bless our administration, bless our teachers, and bless our students, and give the board the wisdom to that end. But now yeah. I'm not on the school board. Right. So, Lord, just be with us in this endeavor here yeah. that we might, I mean, you, you created us to be a creative yeah. because we're in your image. So yeah. let's, let's create a hot rod. Man. So there's the praying. Now this is Herschel, my hot rod buddy. Yeah. I gave him day one curriculum and said, you're the teacher. Yeah. And I'm the, you're the, I'm the coach, but I'm not going to, I'm the, just going to be silent. You're, we're putting you're it out here. We're going to see how the parts go. Do you have the objectives for day one? We'll see how it goes. And I'm just, it's one thing to write curriculum, it's another thing to actually teach a class. So we want to make this as user-friendly as possible. Yeah. You got quite a class. Look yeah. at this guy. Phones, put phones away. Yeah. Are you the teacher? Some, some <laughs> schools say you can't have a phone. That'd be detention for everybody. Well, that means I'm, I'm a preacher, so I got And we got, the, we got the line right here. Yeah. Yep. This is the big, bad, bomber nation, we're gonna kick butt this year line. Yep. And we got the renegade. I have a renegade. We, we may have some people showing up late, but that'll Plus, be all right. We have Vince over here, the, the, the one that's going to have the nose in the corner. Yeah, this, this is alternative school. So, uh, you're on. Time okay. starts. <laughs> well, God bless y'all. Uh, thank you, man, for coming. Uh, you know, I was, this course right here is going to be really uh, a great course for you to take. I know right now that the, the objective for this thing is to. I'm gonna follow instructions. And is to get to know each other, to understand the core structure, objectives, and expected outcomes. This is what it's supposed to be. And I'm gonna tell you something. We, we're gonna have all kinds of things and activities and things that, uh, you know, uh, the automotive technology that you'll learn in this course is gonna be detrimental to the rest of your life. You'll be able to use it. Some of y'all have had some instruction, may know a little bit, we're going to go over it anyway for those that don't have it. Uh, we're going to explore the key concepts. We're going to learn about tools and safety protocols. And, and we'll learn throughout the course different tools require different uh, 
safety. I mean, eyewear, hand, gloves, welding, such as that. Welding helmets. You gotta have something to protect your eyes, don't you? Listen, I wish I could have worn plugs in my ears uh, when I ran the cotton gin, but I had to listen to it and it hurt my ears. And uh, we're gonna look at, at the final project. This is what's gonna be. We're gonna look at expecting to build a street rod, a hot rod. And where from? Spirit Industries. This is gonna be good. You got a goal that you're gonna have, of course. Your understanding of car parts and, and, and the, the automotive tools and safety and the efficiency of them. And the skills that she'll, the lights are gonna go out for me, I know, I'm, I'm doing it. You're gonna have some skills that needed to build these hot rods. You just don't walk up and start building one. Guys, it, it takes experience. You've been having some, have you? Amen. You, you'll learn eventually how to build a hot rod from scratch. And I remember the first time that I ever built one, myself, i never forget getting in the seat and turning that key the first time and that thing hitting and running. I never will forget that. I looked at that thing, I built the chassis, built the motor, I built the transmission, the rear end, I set all of it up, the body, I painted, wired it, everything. And when I turned that key, guys, there's nothing, never a better experience in my life than that. I'm telling you, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. And, and, and I'm sure you. But now we're gonna be grading you too. And you say, well, what's that? Your participation in this thing. If you're gonna be one of those guys, like we had a class over at the high school, we are gonna we were trying to do, a guy came in and he, remember him sitting over in the corner, Bob, and, and he said, uh, I said, what are you doing? Why are you just standing? He just stared at me like, I'm gonna hurt you. That's what he looked like. I said, okay, well, let's just go over and let's have some fun. But you, you, you're per, you know what you're doing, your participation in this class is very important. You be graded on that. All that discussions we have. It's, you can't have a wrong discussion. You can't have a wrong question. You ask, ask me anything you want to know, we'll try to answer it for you. We'll have some quizzes too. And uh, we're gonna, this, this will help us assess your understanding of the theoretical aspects of automotive technology. That's what you're gonna have. And this hands-on deal, the projects, the hands-on, things that you're doing hands-on. I'm sure some of y'all have been using your hands on different things, and you, and you said your father's a cow farmer, and, and, and I don't, I can't, I don't, I don't know what all y'all done, but I'm sure y'all had some hands-on experience with different things. Well, this is different. This is a car. Not only will you build this car, but you'll see the final hot rod at the end. This is what's going to be so good. It'll lead up to all these skills that you're going to learn. You'll end up seeing the fruition of this thing come through. Here it is, a car built. Really nice. Well, the hot rod, the, the project is going to be a kit car from Spirit Industries, Spirit Cars. I'm, some of y'all have seen his cars and his, his builds already in the past. These cars are going to be used in this teaching for this class. Everything, he, the chassis, the welding, all the stuff, we'll get into that in a minute. But the, pl the planning of this thing, it, it takes time. You need to sit down before you build a car. You gotta think about what you're gonna do. You gotta say, what kind of car do I wanna build? What do I need to do? How, what do I wanna make? What color is it gonna be? What kind of what wiring do I need to put in it? It's all those things are coming in. It's gonna be your final testing on those things. You know, it's gonna be neat. I don't, I, I understand they're gonna be drawing something, uh, kind of concept car themselves a little bit, kind of some ideas that you'll come up with. Uh, the components of the hot rod, in this planning phase. You, you'll be looking at seeing all those and learning about them. You create a detailed plan, timeline of the assembly process. You got, you know, we gotta try to, you can't piddle with something all day long and need to get it done. You need to work on it, get it. But it's one thing I've learned, I'm not gonna get anything done sitting there drinking a Coke at the table. I'm gonna, that's all right to have a break. Just get up and do something. And, uh, and I, I love seeing the, the assembly phase. That's the fun part. I love to assemble things. I've all, I have all my life. I, I tore apart a cotton gin and fixed it and put it all back together. And they told me, they didn't think you could do it. When they said that, that's when I said I was gonna do it. And I did. But I had to have my right mind. It, 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 we'll go through a guide, step-by-step, -step planning process 
of assembling a hot rod. You focus on specific skills. You'll be welding and fitting things together and wiring a car. It's really interesting to see. And then you test it finally. You, you conduct thorough testing to ensure the hot rod is built to specifications and safety standards. We must do this. You gotta be safe, you know what I'm saying? I, I never forget a guy built a car, a real nice car over around me and, and uh, he, he failed to uh, tighten the fuel line up, caught his engine on fire. I mean, it, it, you, we gotta check things like that, guys. It, it's stuff you're gonna learn from guys like us that have experience not testing. The things you're gonna have going on is, uh, uh, it's really neat, uh, uh, it's called an automotive scavenger hunt, you know. I'm sure y'all in younger life have had up, been on scavenger hunts before, Ed. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. You, you'll uh, look for specific automotive tools or parts hidden around the classroom or the workshop. In here it'll be kind of hard to find the things if we did it in here, but we, we uh, this shop is packed full of junk. Of mine, and it needs a good cleaning before we do that. But it's, it's gonna be fun, things like that that you'll do. In, in, the, in the process of doing this scavenger hunt, it'll make you familiar. I tell you, you go find a, 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 a half inch drive, three quarter socket with an extension and a, and a, and a, a ratchet. Uh, I think once you find it, you'll say, okay, that's a three quarter. If you've never had a tool in your hand, you'll say, I'll go look in that drawer and I'm gonna find the three quarter. Most all you guys are probably familiar with it, you know. And uh, it makes you familiar with it, and, and throughout the course, it'll grow you. You'll start saying, okay, what, like if I'm, if you're in here with me and we're working on a, a building a car and I'm teaching you, when I tell you I want a half inch wrench, I want a half inch wrench. I don't want you to bring me a 9 16. That'd be part of your course, you know what I'm saying? And you say, oh, well, I don't know. Well, you will, because you'll be looking through them. I, I'm, uh, anyway, we'll go on that later. But you go, the car design, the creative car design, it's really neat. Each group will track brainstorm and design a concept for a unique car. That's gonna be fun there, to me. You'll present your design to the class. You'll tell them. Explaining the features and functionalities of your car, you'll be you'll be going, okay, this 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 is what kind of car I want to build an open wheel. I want to build an open wheel 32 coupe, and I want it down in the dirt. I want I want this kind of suspension. I want fully independent suspension. And you'll be saying, you know, but one thing I want to do, I want to run the exhaust a little differently. I want to run that exhaust right in front of the back tire, but I want it, I want kind of a NASCAR opening in it. You know what I'm saying? It's stuff like that you can design yourself and say, okay. That makes it fun when it happens. And you'll present your design to the class, explaining what the features are and the function, functionality of it for your car, and then and encouraging creativity and teamwork. You'll get to share your ideas with and with your peers and your, your friends and peers. Uh, I, I love, the one thing I love about car shows is going in there looking at something new designed and I, I, I get something from it. And this class would be the same way. You'll learn stuff from each other. You say, that's a pretty cool idea. I may incorporate that into my car. You know what I'm saying? And uh, there's some outcomes that's gonna be coming from this, expected outcomes. At the end of the day, you have a clear understanding of the course. You'll say, wow, the structure of the course, objectives, evaluation, the criteria, you'll see it all. You'll feel comfortable, engaged through the icebreaker, our icebreaker, uh, and, and team building activities. Icebreaker, that means you won't have any inhibitions. You'll be talking, these three guys know one another, you probably know them too. And y'all are all friends, but stuff like this will get you where you're not. I'm, it's, like I said, there's no stupid questions. And uh, it'll build you up. The more comfortable that you are and engaged with each other, uh, you, you'll, uh, You'll, you'll find out that that icebreaker stuff that we'll be doing will help you. You'll be engaged more. You'll start saying, well, hey, would you help me do this when we're working on cars? And each one of y'all be turning into people that help each other. And maybe some of y'all have a, a strong points and the other one has other strong points. Help one another. Make them grow. It, it, it collaborative learning environment. That's what you're creating. You have to say, okay, I'm going to 
But when we're learning something, I really, I hate to say this, but I hate to go to any class that I feel like I hadn't taken away anything. I don't want to take a class when I don't feel like I've absorbed something new. I don't know about y'all, but I get bored. Really, you know, it's like preachers, some of them get boring sometimes. I may be one of them, but I'll tell you it's the truth. You'll leave with an initial excitement and curiosity about the final hot rod project. Oh yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. When you see uh, uh, the, the project in front of you, after you've had some classes, the next thing you know, you're going to say, hey, this is what we're actually going to do. Wow. This, it creates excitement. I, I'll never forget my first car I built. It blew me away because I was so excited to do it. I laid my frame rail down. I went across the three by uh, two to three uh, tubing and built my chassis. First one I ever done. And, and did I do it right? Well, I tried to because what I did, I found out from street rod builders, other street rod builders, which we are really putting all this into the funnel and all coming out in this study. All of the creativity that they've had at Spirit Industries and through all the other street riders such as myself have had to learn these things the hard way. And now y'all are being blessed because it's all went into the funnel and right coming right down here today to y'all's hearts and minds. And y'all gonna be saying, you'll be gaining from it and going by a lot of steps that we had to take. You'll learn quick. That's great. You'll understand it. You'll be more comfortable and engaged through the icebreaker and the team building and the activities and the learning environment and the, you know, the excitement of building the hot rod and a project is called motivation. It's called dangling the carrot in front of you. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Whenever you start thinking about the car, the car, that's what it is. I, I, I love to see it. I'll never forget the, the James Bond car when I was a kid and I went to the old James Bond movies and old cars would shoot things out the back and fire and oil and they'd make them fly. I, I, wanted to, I wanted to make that in a car. I said, you know, I was a little kid wanted to do that. It's crazy. They won't let you. I'm excited to be the start, the startup guy with y'all. Just to be in this journey you're going through and, and learning experience together. I love teaching people. I really do. I love it. Um, any questions before we go any further? Y'all are pretty eased off group here, so I, I hadn't any hecklers yet, so I'm okay. Well, the introduction to automotive technology. Vince, I'm gonna watch you. There's this week one. The core structure and objectives, expected outcomes. The activities we have, and, and uh, we're going to discuss the basics of automotive technology, the key concept tools and safety protocols, provide a brief overview of the final project, with, which involves building the hot rod, and there's some goals. Have I already done this? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Three, sir, David. Just hang on just a minute. Let me see if I have this is core one. I thought we took that off. Hang on. Mm -hmm. yeah, we can burn in, I'm going to jump into this. Yeah. Super bird. Yeah. Yeah. Super bird too. Anyway. Yeah, we've done all that. Too many papers. Huh? Too many papers. Do what? I said too many papers there. Too many papers in my hand. I, we had duplicates with my problem with it. Okay. Well, and I got them out of order too, so it's bad. What about these uh, true and false questions, boss? We gonna do that? I think so. All right. Did you give enough information to take a test? You guys ready to take a test? You like, okay, we got one guy like, you like to take tests? Yeah? Come on. Like you're gonna that. like my test. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna especially like the bonus question. Okay, guys. Well, this is paper y'all supposed to fill out, but we don't have duplicates. So we're going to talk about, you've had, I've already told you about what the objectives and stuff are. So what is the main objective of this automotive technique? 
melodic chords. Two. Okay. To build and learn all of the safety protocols and tools required to build a hot rod. I'm gonna have to give him an A. I know, man. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna have to mark a bad thing by your name. Okay, I got a piece. The rest of you guys are gonna have to come up quicker. All I see. Okay, which of the following is not part of the pro final project? What is it? Is it uh, planning the assembly? Or building a hot rod from from a spirit car kit, or writing a research paper on car models for our final testing of a hot rod. Writing a research paper. Huh? Writing a research paper. Writing a research paper. Okay, on car models. They'll probably just want to do that extra credit because of course it'd be so fun when it's done. <laughs> what do you? Huh? It'd be more like an autobiography at yeah. the, by the end. Well, <laughs> all right. Anybody else? You definitely have a story. It's all up, isn't it? Let's go through them all quick. Huh? Go through them again? No, so there should be 12 of them, 13 of them. I'm, I'm just going through that one there, which is okay. not a part. Yeah. It, and, and it is all of them. It's, it's, it's doing all of them. Thank you. You did right. Partially right. All right. Thirdly, which of these activities will be graded in this course? Class participation, quizzes, hand on projects, all the above. All the above, sir. Yeah, I can't. Hoping I'd have some of y'all flunk out real quick. <laughs> Which is one of the main safety aspects by, to be covered in this course? Using automotive tools safely, wearing fashionable clothes while working, <laughs> driving at high speeds. You wrote this, didn't you? <laughs> None. Excuse me. I'm sorry. None of the above. All right, so what is it? Using automotive tools safely, wearing fashionable clothes while working, driving at high speed, none of the above. Which one is it? A, yes. A, oh, a. Vince, I was going to have to flunk you. Look through. I, oh. had, I had C on that one. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Uh, uh, five. didn't have the question. The final project involves building hot rods from scratch. True, 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 true. Okay. I said that. All right, here's one. Understanding car parts is one of the goals of the course. True, true, true. I don't know about you. He woke up, man. I got, I'm going to have to write harder questions, okay? No, I, it's, it's simple. I don't, I don't like quizzes. Okay. Yeah, I don't like quizzes. <laughs> Name one key concept that will be covered in this automotive technology course. What comes to it? Uh, learning all, well, actually, I answered the last one similarly. See what now? I, the first question was somewhat similar to this one. Yeah, that's right? uh, similar, yeah. All right, anybody else? Okay, well, all that stuff, engine, mechanics, Brake system, tools, etc. Just like you said. Why is participation important in this course? So we can get something out of it. Mm -hmm. Anybody else got anything to say on that? To make sure that our focus is well on the project itself. And how, to use them, and how to use them properly. How to use it properly. Anything else? The more you engage in these activities, expound on discussions, work together on projects, hands-on experience, it etches in your brain more deeply. That's what I wrote down. And this equals understanding and development. And that's what I believe. That etches every time you mix together on a car and you're working together and you ask each other questions, discussions, it's participation in that class is going to create this knowledge that you need. That's what's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's great. Match the following components with their descriptions. You only, uh, you, you kind of left me out there, uh, but uh, car parts. Yeah, that might be hard to do verbal. Yeah. Pretty simple. There's three, three or four different
categories and the thing that matches it. Yeah. So it's pretty simple. You didn't put that on there for you. We got to work on that. I just wrote down engine. Oh, uh, I did it. So it should be that and then all four oh, of those. Okay. But, so you, I thought they were separate. But yeah. No. Okay. The safety protocol. It's not the final edit yet. The final testing and uh, assembly phase. That's, uh, I'm having to go through this myself, boys. That's what it's all. We'll give them the bonus question. Are we on 13? Let me see where 13 is. I can't find it. There it is. Mm. Mixed them up on me while I go. You, you mixed them all up. Why? Now, this is <laughs> now if, if there's anything you can learn today, I would say this is probably in his view the most important thing. Are y'all paying attention? Okay, this is what he put down. Are you ready? You got your mind sharp. Why did the Scarecrow become a successful car mechanic? <laughs> Give them their choices. Okay, uh, A, because he had a knack for scarecrowing up, scaring up solutions. B, because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's going in the uh, C, because he always had the right tools for the job, and D, because he could fix any problem with a smile. So, which one of them? B. 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 That's amen. You got it right, but that's what he is outstanding in his field. <laughs> okay. I don't know where I'm going now. You're going to have to help me just a minute. Well, I think quizzes are important, and if they could be done during the class, easy and quick, Yeah. that way you can kind of see who's... On, on task and who's not and move that direction. I'm trying to see where I'm going now. You're like a classic teacher preparing five minutes before the class to teach the Well, class. we are, <laughs> which is true. Uh, we've already went through the course. All right, I'll go home and edit day one. Yeah, we're going to have to edit this, but uh, we've talked about everything, haven't we? It's it was, just wasn't, there, wasn't there a... Uh, yeah, I'll ask these talking. guys what they know about cars and what. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Uh, I don't see that in here. Okay. But well, uh, well I hear this. Let me ask you: Do you what? What do you guys know about any cars or anything? Y'all worked on any cars or anything before? Well, me personally, I have been researching and well experimenting with all the different parts inside the cars <laughs> for almost since I was a young boy. Yeah. Um, I know a lot about the engines, and I'm currently learning about the transmissions. But I've also tried a lot of different suspension types on my cur on my personal projects to see how they all, you know, behave on certain um, different types of terrain. Amen. That's good. What, you have you worked on any farm equipment or anything? Cool. Uh, I've helped my dad with like tractors and stuff, but yeah, I'm not very sharp in that. Uh, yeah. Part of sheep. Yeah. That's okay. That's, that's, that's the reason you're here. And, and you know, they're, they're here because I said I'd buy them lunch when we're done. Yeah, that's right. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> I hear that. He dangled a carrot. What about you? You've had some experience, uh, haven't you? Yeah, I have, but I'm kind of like Nate. I'm not like real sharp when it comes to all that. Well, he better be. He works here, so he didn't have a choice about coming. Huh? I'd say he works here, so the yeah. <laughs> snapper didn't have a choice. Teach me a lot about it. Yeah. Don't really have enough time to. Yeah. Well, school and all hard to yeah. learn right now. You got to yeah, apply but, yourself, right? Yeah. What about you, Vince? You? I mean, I've dabbled in a little. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you get into suspension. Yeah, he's been up sure. here with me enough to to get some knowledge on it. I'm the older guy. He's been helping me. You know, it's. it's I don't know what else we have here. I right. think this is good. This has been very helpful for us. I appreciate you guys coming. I do too, and I'm so, sorry. So what would what would you think? Would you would you want to be part of a course like this? Yes, sir. I'd, I'd like to be a part of a course like this. I think that it would be uh, very beneficial for my future in the automotive industry because I'd be able to learn a lot of things about how everything works and how it's put together, the tools required. I think that 
it's a very a course that I'd very much like to. So you're coming in ready to go. This is where you want to go. Yes, sir. How about you guys? This is the line. This is this, this is a mountain right. bomber line. And, and uh, if anybody gets rough with me, I've already got friends with them. Make sure these guys be on my side, okay? <laughs> what what do y'all think? Is there something you'd like to? Yeah, this is. I mean, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it would be really. Mm -hmm. I mean, for you guys, especially if you had not ever messed with it, it's kind of it's kind of a thrill. It really is. I I watched my dad do it. He had a garage over with Blywell, and, and uh, I saw him build cars. And I watched him like a little old bitty thing. Six years old, was like standing by daddy doing his stuff. I grew up pulling wrenches for him. Later left him. In 1970, I built my first hot dog. That's how, that's how old I am. But man, I love it. I love, I love teaching anyway. I'm not the best teacher in the world, but boy, when we get down to it, when you start putting hands on, on a car, next thing you know, you start fabricating, you start learning, well, uh, painting, I mean, he's taught me fiberglass work just last year that I had never done before. But right now, I'm not scared of it anymore. You know why? Because I had someone took time with me. And that's what we're trying to do. We want to take time with the youth of this country and try to get some people that will grow up in some knowledge of the industry and be able to do, not only will this help you build street rods, but you can work on your own car. You may be in the field helping your daddy with a tractor and you say, hey, I'm leaking oil right here. Well, hey, I got this daddy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's gonna be pretty sweet. There's so many guys right now that are going into the world that have no training whatsoever. And this is something that he has developed by using what he has a tea bucket, a car that's unassembled that he'll carry to a classroom and show them and, and teach them how to build this thing. And I mean, I, I look back on it and sometimes you think, well, I actually help people, and I'm, I'm just, this is off record, but sometimes I've helped people because of my knowledge. You know, I had one of the old ladies in the church that the alternator went out, but we put alternator on for her, you know? If I hadn't had any training at all, I wouldn't know anything about that. It helps you all throughout your life. That's just what he's been teaching. Uh, I, that's the reason I got on board. I said, whatever you want me to do, you know, I, this is something I believe my heart shows that this this class he's really developing. This this is all right here, brand new. And y'all y'all got to be what I think is a thrill because one day y'all look back and say, I helped get that started. That's pretty neat. When you hear the term applied education being used all the time, you don't hear it now. What we need to do is get get an education that you can apply. The day that you get your diploma, you can apply your education to your future and become lifelong learners. I mean, it's not just about a piece of paper. It's about what is the knowledge that you can take with you. And, and this isn't just about building a car. This is building, building team concepts, building, I mean, it can go from, electrical, the hydraulics, the, the body work, the mechanic, I mean, it's all that, but it's just making an application. You know, using your brain, critical thinking. I mean, right now we live in a culture where, honestly, well, you know how it is here. We got so much work and nobody to do it. This is pretty bad when you've got to go and create a curriculum starting <laughs> with high school students in the hopes of developing a, a a skilled technician. I'm a firm believer in the trades and the crafts. You start as an apprentice. And just because you watch a YouTube video or you get a little bit of curriculum here and yeah. you get a, maybe you pass, it, uh, pass this as a completer course, that don't make you a master mechanic. No. You got to put some time in as an apprentice and then you become a journeyman. And then you put more and more time in and then at some point, you can become a master of your craft. And everybody's been created to, to be something. I mean, we're, it's a, everybody has some skills and talents and abilities. Yep. And we all don't have the same one, so. No. Anyway, that's part of what we're doing here. That's right. And I appreciate it, really, because this was like, take one. This is, we're going to put this curriculum out there. We've, we've got it. 
I mean, it's a whole year class, yeah. and we want to make it easy for teachers because I, I had a the director of CTE was looking at curriculum. Well, where would we find someone to teach it? Well, guys like me are gone, and Ursula are gone, and, and we're, we're going to be gone, and then some of the skills are going to be gone too. So, anyway. Yeah. They're going to be using up a tree on me for long. They're looking hungry. They want me to take them to lunch, I think. So we better do that. All right, thank you, Herschel. Appreciate it. <laughs> hey, God bless y'all. Thank you.